The new tropical storm that formed yesterday is now Sanvu has received its name and the first name of the season in the Western Pacific Basin and it's currently positioned at 9.9 .9 degrees north, 156.2 degrees east on the current situation and it's intensifying. Right now it's a 50 miles per hour sustained wind tropical storm with a pressure of 998 millibars moving to the northwest at 10 miles per hour. That's at latest at 8 hours Micronesia, 7 hours Guam local time and 21 hours UTC on the April 21st. And the wind field expanding from this tropical system, well, the northwestern quadrant has tropical storm force winds expanding to 40 nautical miles, 35 nautical miles to the northeastern quadrant, 25 nautical miles to the southwest southeastern quadrant, sorry, and 30 nautical miles extending uh, on the southwestern quadrant, tropical storm force winds. And the distances, locations where the storm is currently positioned, well, 460 kilometers to the east northeast of Ananu, 515 kilometers to the northeast of Losap, 550 kilometers to the east northeast of Chuk, 730 kilometers to the east northeast of Ulul, 1270, 1270 kilometers to the east southeast of Saipan and 13,000 kilometers to the eastern, east southeast of Guam right now. There's no watches and warnings in effect right now for Guam with the, due to the proximity of this tropical cyclone so far. And well, the different agencies, they believe it's a 45 to 50 miles per hour sustained wind tropical storm, 45 miles per hour by the Japan Meteorological Agency and NOAA based on Guam and the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and 413, that's us. We believe it's a 50 miles per hour sustained tropical storm. And about it, about the forecast, it's expected to actually become more weaker in the next hours or days. So practically today the storm has peaked or has reached its peak intensity. It's expected to gradually weaken to a tropical depression uh, or remain tropical storm status at least in the next day and a half or two days before uh, gradually weakening to a tropical depression by the April the 22nd as it approaches on Guam. The sea surface temperatures are quite warm, actually 28, 29 degrees Celsius, which is completely good for the storm, but the atmospheric conditions are the main reason of why it's, ex it's expected uh, to become a tropical depression in the next days and, and some weakening expected as well. And about the maximum winds uh, from, from the storm in the next days, well, it's not that much actually, practically only 34 or plus knots of sustained tropical storm force winds in a very compact area, no land areas as well, so that's uh, a good news at least. And the, the rain is going to be an issue, maybe some rain could still um, occurring on the Micronesian Islands with some uh, inches, between 4 to 8 inches of rain. Guam also may expect some rain as the storm gets closer, of course more dissipated or even more weaker, but still some rain could fall on Guam in the next day, so it's something to be concerned or at least uh, focused on. And about the, the forecast from different models about the tropical storm force winds, or well the intensity of the storm, better said. Practically, they, are, they say it has peaked this storm, the sandbu has peaked, but it's going to weaken in the next days, so practically today it's a peak intensity of sandbu. And about the wind shear is expected to, to gradually increase in the next days, so that's one of the main reasons of why sandbu is expected to lose strength and weaken in the next days. And also, well, the, the forecast track, practically all are saying the, the same, that it's going to move gradually to the northwest. The sea, the sea surface temperatures are going to 
to reduce a little bit slightly but still not uh, not enough to actually be a, a main factor to to weaken a storm 28 29 degrees celsius which is completely favorable for a storm but the the humidity also is really low 60 percent and decreasing so also it's going to be some dry air intrusion dry conditions in the atmosphere so that's also a, another factor of why sandvo is expected to weaken and maybe not survive in the next days the satellite animation for now it looks really good looks really decent with some vending features and cloud tops really well defined and a center uh, overcast completely defined and those animations you can see them on the Forster team's website so please check them out click at www.forsterteam.com and enjoy all the floaters and features we have for you on this site so please have a look at that for me that's everything today have a nice day and stay and stay tuned for more updates